This is an example game that I made for the Blender game engine. The car has to drive around avoiding obstacles like giant monkey robots. It scores points by driving into gemstones. The level is complete when all the gemstones are collected. The starting point for this tutorial is the file I made in previous tutorials. To practice, I recommend that you download the file from my website. If you don't want to download the file, you can use your own model of a car. The tutorial will guide you on how to make a simple car game. The render is set to Blender Game. The scene is rendered in the Blender Game engine. Changing the render to Blend for Web, the scene will now be rendered in a web browser. Logic Bricks are not supported in Blend for Web, so change the layout from Game Logic back to default. There are two scenes in this Blender file. Change the scene to the main game scene. Clicking Fast Preview, the scene will load in the default browser. There will be lots of errors and the car won't work. In this tutorial, I'll make the car work. To set up the car, I'm going to move it to a different layer. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Select the car, press M on the keyboard to move the car to the second layer. The wheels of the car are underneath the plane. Change the shading to solid so we can see them more easily. I'm going to delete all the tyres except for the front passenger. Select with the mouse pointer in the 3D view window, press X to delete. Select. X, select X, select the wheel and press M to move it to the second layer and click on the second layer. Select the car body and in the object properties set all the location values to zero. A quick way of doing this is to right click and reset all to default values. To have multiple views when placing the wheels, I'm going to toggle into quad view, zoom in with the mouse wheel and pan shift and middle mouse button. Click the physics properties, click object physics and change the collision bounds to box. For the Blender game engine, the origin was set low compared to the mesh to give the car a low centre of gravity, but this is causing problems for the collision bounds box. A quick fix is in the object menu Transform Geometry to Origin. The bounds are good enough now, but if you wanted to fine tune them, Go into edit mode and move the mesh relative to the origin. There are a few other physics settings. For the Blend for Web Engine, set the mass to something like 800. Tick Vehicle and open up the panel. The vehicle name can be anything, but all the car parts must have the same vehicle name. And the part we want the car body to be the chassis. Going back to the object properties, I'm going to move the car body up until the collision bounds are just above where the ground plane will be. I'm going to round the value to 0.64. For the simulation to work properly, the vehicle must be pointing in the negative Y direction. Set the Z rotation to 180. Again, for it to work properly, in the object menu, we must apply the rotation. Select the wheel. With the car flipped, I'm now going to make the wheel the back left-hand wheel. Scroll down, and to make the car easier to move, I'm going to make the car body its parent. Move the wheel up 
until it is just above the ground plane, I'm going to round the value to minus 0.32, move the wheel in the y direction to fit in the wheel arch, I'm going to round the value to 1.16, click physics properties, click object physics, we want physics type no collision, click vehicle, set the vehicle name to car, set the part to back left wheel, duplicate the wheel, hold down shift, press D and enter, and set the part for the duplicate to the front left wheel. In the object properties, rename the duplicate tire FL front left and move the duplicate under the front wheel arch. I'm going to round the value to minus 1.3 Duplicate, hold down shift, press D and enter. Put a minus sign in front of the X location and rename the duplicate tire FR front right. Click the physics properties and change the part to wheel front right. Select the back wheel and duplicate, shift, D and enter, and set the part to the back right wheel. In the object properties, put a minus sign in front of the X location and change the name to tire BR back right. The vehicle must have a mesh object set as the steering wheel, add mesh cube, press S to scale 0.1 and enter, and set its parent to be the car, click physics properties, click object physics, set the physics type to no collision, click vehicle, set the vehicle name to car, and the part to steering wheel. Now the car is ready. Press A twice to select all parts. Press M to move them to the first layer. Click on the first layer. In the view menu, change the view to the camera view. In the view menu, toggle out of quad view. Click on the ground plane and click object physics. Click on the car body and in the object properties set the Z rotation to 180 and the Y location to minus 20. Select the camera, press G for grab, Z for the Z axis and Z for Z local and move the camera back. Click Render Properties, click Set Recommended Options, zoom in with the mouse wheel and click Fast Preview. By default, the camera is the controlled object. Pressing Q on the keyboard, nothing is controlled. Clicking on the car, the car is controlled and I can control it using the arrow keys. As you could see, the car drove through the ramp. There is still plenty of work to do, but I'm going to end the tutorial there. I'll put the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website. To visit my website, click the eye icon in the top right hand corner. To subscribe, click the stick man. To sponsor my tutorials, click the patron link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.